This is Machuka Nyarieko TV Talk Show where we analyze politics and governance issues we focus on national, local and international news we examine the political way of our people social and economic Nyarieko TV Talk Show The House of Ideas Okay Welcome to Machuka Nyalego TV talk show, the house of ideas. This evening, we are blessed to have one a historian, come a political scientist, a scholar, and finally, Dr. Catherine Nyabwenki. Welcome to our studio. Asante sana, thank you for inviting us here. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, I'm also known as, as Madam CS from the CS TV Bullet. So, yeah. So, as you subscribe to this channel, that is Machuga Nyaliego TV talk show, also you can subscribe to the CSTV Pulit. Um, we are analyzing violence, terrorism, politics, you know, everything that is happening in the Kenyan sphere and in Africa, you always get them there real and raw. Karib sana. And in this room, it is purely politics. Yeah. From local national and international and today i want us to focus on the current politics in our topic whereby there has been impeachment or already the deputy president of the republic of kenya has been impeached and the one wonders whether he is going to survive despite the fact that we have conservatory conservatory orders of which as political scientists we don't understand so much <laughs> <laughs> but what we know is that he has been impeached, maybe through processes which we are going to be explained to soon by our colleague. But my first question to her, kindly, we have been having previously a uh, vice president in our public and now debut presidents in Kenya. Mm -hmm. What relationship has been existing within this office? So thank you so much Mashuka. Um, as you said actually right now where the country is uh, politically we are not in a very nice position. Actually the politics of this particular country are just hanging on as such a shaky bridge. We don't know when this bridge is going to stabilize or fall but we are in between there and we can only hope that the best happens out of it. Especially after the impeachment of the, pre the deputy president and the current uh, legal vehicle that we are seeing, uh, I don't think that the country is headed to the right direction. But to your question about the relationship of the deputy presidents and the vice presidents of this particular country, I think the current position where we are right now is not new. It's only that we have had the deputy being impeached. But as far as the relationship between the deputy president or the vice president and the president of this particular country is concerned, it has been always a case of use and a dump. And I'm saying this because even when you look at the founding father, that is Mr. Chomo Kenyatta, is the person who never had a very good relationship with these vice presidents, actually. And that's why when you look in history, we have had um, even vice presidents who have served for 60 days, you know. We have had vice presidents who have resigned. And it tells you that this position of a vice all of a deputy president actually the presidential candidates choose people that they want to use and dump and uh, we thought maybe like after the 2010 constitution things could change and when we saw you know uruto ticket that was actually informed by the post-election violence of 2027 uh, 20, 2007 and operation remove our names from the icc at that particular time people thought like this is going to be the best do ever but what happened after 2017, we started seeing tanga tanga things, you know. The use of Ruto, you know, what brought them together? The political interest brought them together had finished. The ICC cases had come to an end. It was time for everybody to do their own things. See, you understand? So from where I stand, actually, you know, we saw, you know, Ruto crying, um, do not kill my people, do not, do not uh, kill my family, do not go for my family. Then last year it was Uru Kenyatta, do not go for my family. This year it is Gashawa, do not okay, go for my okay, family. Okay, okay. So you realize as, that this relationship has not been a good one at all. The only difference that it makes is that this time round, 
we have had a case whereby a deputy has not been granted an opportunity to finish his five years term. Yeah. Okay. As a security expert, mm -hmm. I know you are studying, master's study was on Chingororo. <laughs> and uh, first, before we go further, what motivated you? Mm -hmm. Because to do a study on Chingororo. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think mm -hmm. from the behavior of uh, the government mm -hmm. or the state mm -hmm. and what is taking place, we mm -hmm. are secure? Um, okay, first I go to what motivated to me, me to study Chingoro. Ever since as a child, I wanted to, to be to do something related <laughs> to security. <laughs> and when I could not actually make it into the security world, uh, I made it up to myself to do something, you know, to, to be a specialist, a researcher in installing security violence and terrorism. But from where I stand as a, as a security expert and uh, analyst, or, and also a scholar, I've written a lot in the world of history of security. We are not heading in the right direction. Why I'm saying that we are not heading in the right direction is when you look at the militias that actually emerge in this particular country. As at the moment, I think we have more than 324 gangs and militias in this particular country. I think the report by the National Security Research Center can be able to verify what I've said. You realize that actually these groups emerge when they feel there is a security gap, you know, from the government. And when we have a government that is seriously politicizing, you know, every day is about politics, politics, politics. We are not putting much in terms of, you know, provision of the rights but I see, and security. Uh, but I see you cannot claim that the government is politicizing. I can see development, oh. health sectors has been improved. But let me ask you. Fund, no, 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 don't even go there. And, uh, 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 um, Machuka, don't you go there. Is, Let's be honest uh, and tell uh, each other the truth. You know, there's a lot of politicizing. The education model you are talking about, we have a student who is from a very poor family and has been placed in Pandi 5. What did that So, Pandi when a student has been placed in Pandi 5, it means he gets very less support from the government. Very less support from the government. I wish this education funding system goes back to the kind of education funding that we had. Some of us survived the courtesy of help loans, you know. So, when it reaches a point whereby a student cannot be able to get this help loan simply because he's been placed in a different fund, the, I think the whole thing, this funding thing, is a fiasco. When you're talking about health, some of us here don't know whether we are in Nisha or we are in okay. NHI. So, there's no our, development here we're let's, talking let's about. Let's go back to our main exactly. point of discussion. They, yes, let's not lie to each other. Sometimes back, we had Professor so George Saitrota as the uh, vice president of the public of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And there was a time. They wanted to put a vote of no confidence mm -hmm. against him, mm -hmm. which was being read by the current governor for CIA, James Orembo. Mm -hmm. And uh, before the motion, the entire Mount Kenya was supporting. When the real day came, mm -hmm. they did not support because there was that grand relationship between uh, the Maasai and the queens. Mm -hmm. Probably uh, a mother or a father came from either the community. Mm -hmm. What happened to the child? Why is it that now the Mount Kenya turned against him? Uh, when you look at uh, George Saitoti's politics, actually it was school politics. I call George Saitoti's politics school politics. And that's why George Saitoti was able to work with different regimes in this country. I think it's one of the politicians that worked Literally, and when I'm talking about working in a, like in ministerial positions at some point time, he was a deputy, um, as a vice president, etc. He was he knew what to do when facing who. He was a man who knew his political cards well. But now, when we look at uh, Ligichi, the problem that actually Ligichi had um, is not that actually the people of Mount Kenya don't love Ligichi. Let's not lie to each other. It's not that Mount Kenya don't love Ligichi. The thing is, the members of, you know, Ligichi was used to fight Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. And the Ligichi came in as a deputy president to form a coalition, yet he did not have a political party. So this guy comes in with no form of support in parliament. Let's, let, let's not lie to each other. So when you talk of political parties, you yes, see regional is... political parties. Mm -hmm. You are talking some no, kind of... No, you know, yes, when we form a coalition, are, when you form different a political, political party, parties are coming together. Yes, and maybe see. if he had members of parliament <laughs> from his own political party, 
we could have somewhat maybe survived in that particular uh, national assembly. But imagine the people who don't want Ligichi's UDA. And most of the members of parliament in that house are UDA. So it's said that they are going to sing with the UDA music or they perish, you know, whoever, there's something called whoever. Why? Why? Because, mm -hmm. you see, these people were from one political party. Mm -hmm. Does it mean the entire UDA brigade mm -hmm. will report against them? Of course, that's what we saw, they, uh, except the likes of Ndindi Nyoro. Oh. The last actually said that he's a very bad person, he's taken away, I don't know, the husband, the, the brother's widow's money, etc. But all thing. those was nonsense because actually what? the truth is, Ligati Gashawa has had served his purpose and it was time to let him go. Will it have been that several people mm -hmm. from the mountain mm -hmm. were promised to be deputy president so that by the time they were voting in parliament, each and every one of them knew that he's going to be the next deputy president. I, I, I only don't know to be so. shocked that it is only uh, it is Kindi who has been uh, nominated. On that particular case, I can't tell because I don't have any tell all information for that. But what I know is that even from the beginning, be, before even we went for elections, eh, the people like the MPs and the members of uh, KK of UDA never wanted Rigati Kasawa as the deputy president. Actually, they had chosen Kiture Kindiki. But the president had his own resources. He, he, he knew the person he needed at the moment. He needed somebody who could be able, you know, to slash uh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta like nobody's business and give him a leeway to climb the mountain. So the thing is, Rigati Kasawa was not a popular candidate right from the beginning. He came in without even a political party that, that he can even have a negotiation, like he doesn't have anything to negotiate on. And the worst case scenario is that most of the politicians right now in the mountain who are even supporting his impeachment are the people who think that by supporting Ruto, they can get something maybe for the time. And finally, whom do you think, as a security expert, mm -hmm. also a political scientist, mm -hmm. whom do you think is going to cry most? Is it William Ruto? Because um, at the long last, people will already cry. Rigashia Gashawa is crying. Um, <laughs> already is crying. Uh, but you know the seed that President Ruto has planted right now. Yeah. I think it will be it will be very difficult for him to crack in the in the future. And why I'm saying that the president <coughs> has made impeachment process in this country a very easy thing, a very very easy thing. Today he has Kindiki. We are not so sure that. Two months from now, Kindiki will sponsor somebody to take a, a sense of motion to impeach the president of this republic. And then he plays his card well, and Ruto is impeached. So, Ruto may end up crying the most in this particular process. Yeah. But you can hear the show. The House of Ideas Kindly continue subscribing to Matuka Nyariako TV talk show and uh, the CSTV Bullets. Yeah. Thank continue you. subscribing and see you. Thank